Okay, these are the things you might want to um, get ready if you want to join in with our craft this morning. Um, first of all, um, you might want to make one of these per child. Um, and for that, we're just gonna use a piece of paper, which I've folded, it was just A4, folded, it doesn't have to be green, um, and a drinking straw. Um, we're gonna make a palm branch like that. You might want some sellotape and scissors for that. Um, and then for our prayer response activity, um, if you've got to hand some green paint and a big sheet of paper, uh, that might also come in useful as well. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, good morning and welcome to Western Baptist Church for Palm Sunday. We're going to start off like we do all of our sort of virtual services with a song and this song is one of my favourites and it reminds us that we're all part of the same big family of God and it doesn't matter if we're not meeting together we're all still part of that same family so my helpers here are going to help me with the actions aren't you and I'm sure you're going to join in at home as well. Sure. I'm not sure. Well, how would we know that Daddy was a king, Lucy? What should he wear? 
a crown. Do you want to see if you can find a crown? I've got a little bag ready. There might be a crown in there. You can go and put it on Daddy's head if you like. <laughs> yeah, usually a king would wear a crown, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think my head's a bit too big, isn't it? <laughs> Daddy, ram it on, that's good. Okay, what else? So sometimes you would know that you were seeing a king if he was wearing a crown. What else might a king look like? Well, he'd have a royal cloak on. He might have a royal cloak. I think I'll be in charge of the royal cloak because it's a bit fiddly. Wow, that's... Um, it's a deep fuchsia. Royal. <laughs> Oops. There we are, Your Majesty. Mum, you're the queen. Uh, well, actually, yes, it does is the king. I expect I am the queen. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Now, what else should we give Daddy so he's, he's a proper king? Um, um, some jewels and some jewels and coins. Some jewels and coins. Well, it just so happens that we have some jewels and coins. Do you want to go and give those? Pass those to me. You pass them to Lucy, and she'll give them. To are the they king. real? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, don't forget you have to bow down in front of the king. Yes. Because he's very, very important. The king's very important, right? I'm going to put that word on the post-it note because we can't really see that one. But it's... A king should be very important. Daddy, very <laughs> important. Oh, sorry, your majesty. The king is very important. What else should a good king be like? Um, what do you think? Um... If he's going to be somebody that we follow and that we bow down to, what should a good king be like? What are the good kings in all the stories like? They're very what? Big and strong. Big and strong. This word, Lucy, is big. Do you want to go and stick that on Daddy? Oh. And strong. We want him to be big and strong. Sometimes kings used to fight in battles and they used to um, defeat enemies. So they needed to be big and strong. And what about the word powerful? Do you think a good king should be powerful? Yeah. Yeah? Because we're going to need to listen to what that king says, aren't we? And he's going to need to tell us what to do. So a good king should be important and big and strong and powerful. Do we want a silly king? No. Or a clever king? Clever. I think perhaps a good king should be... What's that word, Minnie? Wise. Wise. Yeah. Because kings can make decisions about the things that the people do and about the laws of the country. That's it. Pass it to Lucy and she'll stick it on Daddy. What would we do... If Daddy was a real king and he was coming to visit our house, we bow down. To we him. might bow down to show our respect. I mean, feel free to do that every time. I what come else do you work. think? What else do you think we might do if a king was coming to visit? Mm. I'm not sure. Do you think we might tidy up our house a bit? Yeah. And make it look special, and we might have a, a party for the king, perhaps. Well, today, um, <laughs> today we're going to read a story, um, about Jesus, um. And it was quite an interesting thing that happened to Jesus just before um, he died. Um, so come and sit down and let's read this story together. This story is called Jesus Rides into Jerusalem. Jesus and his 12 disciples walked to the great city of Jerusalem to be there in time for a special festival called the Passover. On the way, they stopped near a small village called Bethany. Jesus said to two of his disciples, go into that village and there you'll find a young donkey that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you why you're taking it, just tell him the Lord needs it and he will let me have it. The disciples did as Jesus told them and soon came back with the donkey. They spread their cloaks over it to make a soft saddle and Jesus got on the donkey. Then he rode the donkey into Jerusalem with his disciples walking at his side. When the crowds of people walking to the city saw Jesus coming, they were excited. Some spread their cloaks on the road. Some cut down palm leaves to lay in front of him. They cheered and shouted, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Jesus and his disciples went into the city and walked through the streets to the temple. Then they left 
and went back to the village of Bethany for the night. That was a funny thing that happened to Jesus, wasn't it? That people put their cloaks on the ground and they waved palm branches in the air. Why do you think they did that? To spread Jesus. They were praising him. Yeah, they were really excited to see him. Do you know the people of Israel, the people um, who were going into Jerusalem for the Passover, they were waiting for a king. They had been promised by God that a special king was going to come who was going to save them and make everything okay. And when they saw Jesus riding into Jerusalem, they got very excited, didn't they? And they gave him a really royal welcome. But you know, Jesus wasn't wearing a crown, was he? Or a cloak. I wonder if some people thought that Jesus was going to be the sort of king that we decorated Daddy to be, with a crown and a cloak and lots of money. But Jesus didn't do any of those things, did he? So in what ways is Jesus the king? He is powerful. He is powerful. Um, and what we're going to do is spend some time together thinking about um, the ways in which Jesus is a king and, and the things that the people were celebrating. What are the things that we can praise about Jesus? Jesus didn't have a special crown on. He wasn't going to be the sort of king that has lots of money and sits on a throne on earth. Um, but the people were really pleased to see him um, because they recognised something about him. And so Millie's already said he was powerful. So we can praise Jesus. And I'm just going to write these on my leaf. Um, we can praise Jesus because he is powerful. Think about all those people that he made better. What else is brilliant about Jesus and makes us excited and want to praise him? Do you think Jesus is important? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to carry on with trying to find all the different reasons that we think it's a good uh, reason to praise Jesus and we're going to write them onto our leaves so um, if you want to pause the video here and do this together as a family then restart in after you've done that then we'll meet back together again okay so let's stick our straws on here like Lucy do you want to just put some sellotape tape over the top of the straw then well done so now we've made some lovely palm branches to wave. And um, Lucy, if you just pop that down for a second and we'll look at what it says on it and read it out. So we came up with reasons that we should praise Jesus and be excited to see him. Millie, what have you got on yours? I have kind, big and strong. God one and important here and saves us. Yes, well done. We've said that Jesus was powerful, he saves us, he's kind, he's big and strong, he's important, he's a healer. But Jesus wasn't coming, Millie, just to be a king on a throne. No. He was coming for something different. And I think some people were surprised because what happened to Jesus a week later? He died. He, was, he died on a cross. And he did that so that he didn't just have to be the king of one city, but the king of the whole world. The person who could save you and you and me. And so for that reason, we're going to do another activity. And this one might be a bit messy. Because not only is Jesus a king who is powerful and strong and kind, but he's also my king. When he died on that cross a week later, he took the punishment for my sins, the things that I did wrong. And for that reason, I can be God's friend. So, I'm grateful to God because... He's my king. So I'm going to put my handprint on here. And we're going to make a palm branch out of our handprints to show that he did it not just for those people in Jerusalem, but that he died for you and you and me. He's our king as well. So, Lucy, let's get your hand all messy. <laughs>
these important things. But the most important thing that Jesus did was to go and die. And that's not what you expect a king to do, is it? Um, but he went and died on a cross so that he took the punishment for everything that we've ever done wrong so we can be friends with God. And that makes him the king above all kings. So let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you so much uh, that you are big and strong and important and wise, that you can heal, that you're powerful, that you save us and that you're kind. Uh, and Lord, most importantly of all, we thank you that we can add our handprints here and say you are our king and you came and you died for me and for Millie and Lucy and for everyone else out there. Uh, Lord, that you're king above every earthly king, above every uh, king of every country, that, Lord, you're the king of the whole world. And we praise you this morning.